No, I meant from a disciplinary standpoint from my community, Goober. Even though I couldn't do okay. anything to Scandy because they're not really in my community okay, anymore, he's but. Not Scandy. It was. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so blue four, two LZs, op four spawning on the left side. And we have three different AOs here a uh, base All camp right, and some. <laughs> this might be in a little like tunnel complex or something based yes, on the terrain. We are going to have tunnels. Oh and, boy. And things like that. A dried creek bed and a clearing. All right. All right, here we go. I'm a 13 year old girl stuck in a man's body. I what? fucking hope not. What? Who that's, said that? I think that's the weirdest thing I've read all. Who said I want to say week, I but no. Need to ban them from like my chat. month? Who said that? What? Name and shame. You can go read it yourself. I'm hey, like, Burnside. You an extra I saw you doing the F and F command earlier. Uh, if you ever want to join, they're doing Vietnam next week as well. No. All you got to do is follow that, jump no, no, in the team no, speak, no, no, no. see the guy I'm with in this channel. His name is ah, SL Dream. He's a no. staff member. He'd be happy to help you get set up. Please don't, because there's people who actually do end up messaging me, and I'm tired, and I just oh, I can't. Well, I mean, to be fair, it gets me free views on my video. Because he has a video that shows people how to do it, and he should be yeah. selling out for views at this point. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't really know what else I can do to sell out for views. Um, oh, he has everything he needs. He just needs a centaur tag. Nice. Yeah, oh, oh, shit, he's crazy. actually up there as a solo individual oh. player. <laughs> he's got his, He's got it. Oh. Burn, you have it. So you could technically jump down if you have the mod set and everything ready to go. It is, um, whatchamacallit today is, uh, you need prairie fire. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, my dad just said something. About oh, what? I can't, I can't repeat it. Ah. Unless unless you mute yourself and I well, and mute your your chat so they can If hear it's it. that bad, then he shouldn't be saying it on not, Twitch because he can get your that, channel banned, Goober. Not that bad. Like he's not saying like gamer words, but it's just the. Hmm. Gamer words. Nigeria's a country. Gamer words. <laughs> Hey, you're the one who actually has Twitch stuff. In hey, your I said the N-word and the C-word at the same time. In oh, the God. same sentence. You didn't no, hear it? He... No, what? <laughs> no, he just he just mentioned how that guy who said about he's a 13-year-old in a grown man's body. Uh, just mix a few words and you'll kind of get what he said. Okay, I don't need that. But anyway, so something that's really cool about the roster today is people uh, usually will get a uh, choice of weapon selection. So we'll see a very big mix of guns in oh, yes. uh, today's operations here. Maz, Maz sent over his mm -hmm. lore. Yep, the lore for everything. But I just heard something explode in the distance. Interesting. Uh, but Sorry. yeah. I think this is it. Do you want me to read the lore out? Yeah, go ahead. Read the lore out. First battle. Battle of Le Drang, 1965. It was the first major battle between the United States Army and the People's Army of Vietnam. PAVN. It is notable for being the first large-scale helicopter air assault. Le Drang co compromised two main engagements centered on two local helicopter landing zones, LZs. The first known as LZ X-Ray, followed by LZ Albany. Farther north in the dra Drang, like, fuck me, La Drang Valley. Well, I can barely read, which is a good sign. That is a great so, sign. What exploded? I think it's just distant artillery fire to be ambient. Oh, okay, cool. But otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go off of Blue 4 first. So, uh, Blue 4, we're going to see a mix of M14s and M16s. Uh, since it was one of the more early battles, I think you would see more of uh, M14s before they were cycled out by the M16s, but uh, I think players are just allowed to take a mix. We're going to see a lot of 20-round magazines, M60s. Uh, we see some shotguns as well. Engineers have a choice to take a shotgun if they want to. Um, otherwise, looking around, uh, we do see some UGLs, some 203 systems underneath. But otherwise, we're seeing both the 20-round uh, M14s and then the ones with the uh, the curved magazine, which I forget what uh, gun designation that one is specifically. But otherwise, that appears to be it for the most part. They get four helicopters. They're the slick model, so they have the two M60s on the side with that nice circle cross mount uh, on each gun. 
And then they also have a 60 millimeter mortar, which I haven't spotted it just yet. Still looking. And also I only see two of the helicopters in play. I don't know where the uh, other two are. Did uh, they get removed? Somewhere over the rainbow way upon. Are you sure it's at Are they at the other FSB? Helicopters? I could have sworn it said four helis. Is Lear just being dumb? Am I being dumb? Time. Do they have any helicopters? Maybe it was just four helicopters and did, or did it say four Hueys? It said four Hueys. But they don't have a helicopter. So ah, maybe... yes, the M1 and the M2 carbine, that's it, thank you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe they did get rid of them. All right. Oh, well, because uh, I still don't see that mortar. They might have backpacked it, but otherwise, let's go ahead and look over the roster. So we have Maz under platoon command. He is uh, one of the mission makers as well as the person that uh, wrote out all the lore for us to read permission. We have X-Ray being read by Mello. Uh, Herudo is taking a Sten gun. Is it suppressed? Yeah, so he's got a suppressed weapon right there. G-Legs is going to be a marksman. Uh, that looks to be some sort of bolt action. Forget the exact designation, uh, but yeah, that is going to be their marksman rifle, or I guess sniper it's, rifle, uh, considering the time. M40, all right. Yeah, I think that's what it is. We've got Shy leading a group of AA under Alpha HQ. I love how when I click on every name, we have a little click icon to indicate that I'm clicking through names. That's going to be pretty cool to go through. Um, A1 has Gamma, Spiky, and Indigo Fox, three additional players from AA. Uh, Bravo has 4IB led by Skipper, Stark being the 2IC. Uh, he also has a weapon backpack, so he might actually have that mortar because that usually is uh, the backpack to indicate he's got a gun bag of some sort. So I'll be uh, looking back at him to see if that is true. 4IB also has uh, Bravo in play. We got uh, some other names that I don't recognize in Charlie uh, Charlie 1. I have no idea who these people are. So new names is always a good sign to see that uh, F and F is growing. Uh, we otherwise have uh, Charlie 2 with OPS members such as Lurch, Oddball, Killer. And then 1RW taking Delta 1, not Bay in Delta 2 with Frank Grab, Dooley. Okay, Dooley did show up. I just didn't see him. I think he came late. I said this. I said this. My apologies. And then we have uh, the pilot crews with Mountain Jib style. Did Blue Four just. What? What? <laughs> did you fucking see that? What happened? Two people just jumped out of the helicopter. They live though, because you can't die. Yeah, but... <laughs> it was not Bay and Dooley. <laughs> yes, it was. Because they're still in the blue zone. All right, so apparently there's an issue with short range radios. That's unfortunate. And then Charlie HQ has uh, Jack the Viper, which is a nice play on Jack the Ripper. Otherwise, going ahead and looking over at Op4, what do we have? Apparently there's also a radio issue but they're uh, addressing it but otherwise we got two cars with uh 12.7 dishkas on the back and then they also have their own mortar as well uh the weapon mix appears to be oh man some of these weapons i don't even recognize to be perfectly honest uh looks to be some sort of battle rifle we got some pkms in play uh some ak-47s some shotgun. Oh, that's a double barrel shotgun. This dude has a freaking grenade base plate. Good golly. RPGs in play. You know, Blue 4, I didn't see any AT on them. Uh, but I did see one of the Op 4 players early on. He did have a stinger on uh, him. Schneider has one shot AT. Uh, yeah. So Reapers it seems to that. be only a few. So they do have AT. It's one shot, just a little so, troops. Uh, we also have some dudes with SKSs, but they also have rifle grenades for those SKSs. Oh, God. Uh, and, and then uh, Reaper I'm... has uh, Estrella. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at... Is that P... Yes, uh, Marlin is actually running the PPSH at the moment, or the PPS... I can't remember which one it is, because it has these... Uh, of... Let me look. Malin, that is the... Um, <sighs> KA-50. K50. Which oh, uses P 9 by 9 millimeter yeah. like the PPSH. They share the same ammo. That thing I like to call the burp gun because that thing will unload a shit ton of ammunition very quickly. Sort of like the PPSH. Mm -hmm. No, like even quicker. Oh, even yeah. like What's so this? much quicker than the PPSH. Uh, oh, it's one of my right. favorite weapons to rock in NOM ops because it just goes nuts. 
So I think they dropped a gorge crate for radios mm. for the uh, op four guys. Makes sense. Otherwise, uh, platoon commanding is severe. All right, so severe. We don't see him a lot in FNF. He usually stays with the coalition group, but I know him from other groups uh, that do hardcore PvP, and he is one of the best. So I would love to see how severe pairs off with Maz in this scenario. Uh, that's a really tough call to make because Maz is a veteran in his own right with an FNF, but Severe is a veteran just in general with his expertise. Uh, Ash leading the X-Ray group. He's got an SKS himself. Uh, his... Uh, Alright, Gazog also has a submachine gun of some sort. He's trying to set up a spotting scope. Uh, it's a suppressed gun, too. Uh, I just forget the designation with that. Eric also has it. I'm trying to see who has the sniper rifle. They just knocked out <laughs> Kazag oh, with no. the spotting scope. Uh, uh, I would assume... I think it's Tackle. Yeah, it's Tackle. Yeah, it's supposed to be Tackle, but his um, Mosin isn't scoped. No, yeah, they're, they're not. The oh. The Vietnamese snipers only get Mosin scopes. Nice. Where's my pen? I gotta be writing down some of these uh, time stamps here. Did Bloodwing take my pen off my desk? Oh, that monster. You've gone quiet. What's that? Sorry, I was looking for my pen. Uh, Bloodwind reorganized my desk, so I have to, like, scrounge around to see where she put yeah, what. Right, right. So that is my bad. Otherwise, um, oh, shit, these guys can make foxholes. Look at that. Yeah. That's, all right, so Op4 can do shit like that. That's actually really cool. Uh, that's part of their fortification tool, I bet. Yeah, probably. Nice. All right, so I'll be curious to see how they make those defense. You can actually hear the Hueys flying back and forth from here, but I like that Blue 4 has this time to set up, uh, putting the units down on the LZ. So that's pretty cool. Otherwise, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the roster here. So we have... Alpha 1 has Malin in it, so Scandi Recon members are in Alpha 1. Uh, we have Leia playing with SR. That's interesting. Yes. Leia has uh, got invited to Scandi Recon, so she's no longer with AA for this round. I don't know if she'll take nice. a full, full group. But yeah, Scandi, of course, poaching some of the best players here. Not surprised to see that at all. Uh, we have Nim taking the AT because Iander isn't here. Uh, 1RCC is also with an Alpha 2. Uh, we've got some members of Coalition under Bravo HQ. Uh, I know that the three of them, Netflix, Patman, and uh, Tanaka, are part of that group. Again, I'd consider the third best community within FNF. Uh, when they decide to grace us with their presence, but I assume Vietnam was uh, a very strong pull for them since they themselves had a massive PvP uh, NAM event earlier this month, if not... No, it's, it's still going to be sometimes this month. I'm getting my event dates confused. My bad. Otherwise, we have a group in Bravo 1. I don't recognize any of the names except 2600, but I think he's a fill-in. So he we'll is, see. He's part of the Zeus Spartans who are X-Ray, so they probably filled up before Yeah. He could... So he's with these other guys, Brain, Miller. Actually, no, I do recognize Brain. So uh, just a few of the newer guys within this uh, group mm -hmm. here. Then we got Padokovic, Whiplash, Norris playing a medic today. All right. Also, to point out something uh, interesting, Whiplash is uh, the SOG dev. He has come and graced us with his presence. Oh. He got a nice little shout at the start. I told Leary there'd be more, but I got my things missed. Mis yeah, no, no. I remember you mentioning um, that there were going to be a few of the uh, op, um, of the SOG Prairie Fire devs coming. So I'm glad that he was able yeah. to make it today. They should also be here next week. So. Nice. And then we have the entirety of Charlie merged under Charlie 1 filled with Papega pirates. Oh my fucking god. Well, Why would the, you put Papega on the Viet Cong well, side? That's like they're perfect. Well, with the perfect we're atmosphere. They are, they are fighting the, um, the American forces who have higher, like stronger gear, stronger sights, and all that stuff. So. It well, doesn't matter. Yeah. These people will literally one-tap you from 500 meters away with freaking one, like, times two optics, like uh, CCO 68s and shit. Like, oh, my gosh. And then you got Talvin, Sayak, Tymek with uh, Danny DeCito, Reaper from TSB, and Vagrant. I forget where he's from, but uh, Alvin, Sayak, Tymek, they're guys that also play OFCRA as well, which is why uh, they're noteworthy, because that shows that they're well-rounded in that. But regardless, <laughs> so we have... 
We have the top three communities on one side under one of the greatest Arma 3 commanders I know with a dev that made the fucking mod as yeah, SOG Prairie no, Fire. Absolutely just secret things. The dev's not going to go, hey, guys, if you press this button, your gun will turn into a mini gun. They made the map dream. Yeah, but uh, look, there's no way he remembers every square inch. Bro, I'm gonna. Map. He has a PKM. I'm gonna watch him just murder 20 dudes. I'm gonna go like, yeah, dream. He, no, yeah. He's not going yeah. to murder 20 dudes. He's gonna murder 20. He has a PKM, dude. Anything's no, I possible. Don't I don't know his. I don't know his armor score. I don't know how good he is at armor or, or PVP and stuff like that. But the fact if, that you point okay, out if he gets he five kills this round. I will go get my my mead and I will start drinking for the rest of the night. Like I'm gonna uh, just celebrate just that at that point. Me? <laughs> you still owe me twenty me. bucks. I can't make so another I bet with you until you pay bucks. it. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, blue four. They've got four IB. They got AA. They got Maz, who's a good commander, but on a neutral sector. Oh, they have not Bay and Dooley, but. My guy, especially the fact that Papega has a full freaking roster. Not just Nate. Uh, yeah, no, they, they have the four of King Legal, Arma Jesus, and Guy Fieri. Like, I'm really worried about Blue Four. This is a very stacked team. Yes, Blue Four has the better gear, but... Oh, this might get... No, this is going to get messy. Let's go ahead and look at the actual AOs here now that we have a minute remaining. So, uh, Alpha, <coughs> the PVRN base, it's the... Uh, Carved out stone. Ah, this texture. Yeah, so it's got a lot of internal stuff, too. This is going to be hell for Blue 4 to assault, because I know Op 4 is going to go for that first thing. They, There's just so many ways they can set up ambushes in that zone. Jeez Louise. Uh, but Blue 4, <coughs> they get the creek bed and the clearing to take immediately, so Blue 4 can immediately play on the defensive. But, again, Op 4 has the... Uh, really good offensive teams and they're working in jungle so that gives them near infinite space to move around except back the actual lz site but my god all right we have a clearing that blue four can hold and we also have a dried creek bed seconds which actually has some really nice bamboo terrain to it interesting it's gonna be a bitch to watch from overhead but down below hmm all right, mission has started. All sides are now charging in. Op4 is already going to be sending a very large force to the uh, uh, force to the north. We have Scandi with one RCC. Where is Papega going? Papega is going right for the PAVN base. Not surprised they put more. They'll probably take it and stay there because that's what they normally do. Papega pirates. Yeah. On. I've seen it with everyone. Everyone puts Pega Pirates on a defensive position in in any like sector holding, neutral sector. That's uh, one side of the yep. sector. <clears throat> That's because Papega is really, really good at static yeah. defense. Uh, we we've seen it time and time again. Like they um, a few weeks ago on the uh, Columbia map. No, not Columbia. Gulf Coast. They almost held against twenty dudes as like four or five. <laughs> and then they, the only reason they lost was because they had a friendly fire incident. That still pisses me off. Bob just gave which is historically accurate that EU gets to go to Vietnam first, then it's NA's turn. Because <laughs> of the French and then the Americans. That's a good joke. That's a good one. I'll give that one to you. Oh, dear. Now, the objectives are skewed in Blue Force favor. That It's also because that Alpha itself is, like, going to be untakeable at this point. Now, I, I could see why they rigged it in Op Force favor then to be the more superior ground team because it, the objectives themselves are skewed to Blue Force. So I do like the balance that's come down here, but it's going to mean okay. it's... Yanni is somehow the first to make it to the Dry River Creek, and this huge Red Four Force, especially in two positions, are coming against a significantly weaker Blue Four Force that is completely split up. Yeah, I think Op Four might get some targets of, uh, not targets, but some good uh, opportunities to pince meal here. And I think that's going to screw Blue Four up pretty bad. What they need to do is just commit to pushing their entire force ASAP, but both sides have set up their mortars as well. 
Op4 has a pretty good clearing on the side of it. Ah, it's going to be Coalition rocking that mortar. They know how to do it. Who's rocking Blue Four's mortar? 4IB uh, with Stark. Stark's rocking it. So both sides are going to know how to do this. I think we're about to have first contact. X-Ray running right next to Bravo. Bravo takes like two shots. Nimia gets two tap, but she's still up. Infidel going prone, trying to cover. They actually managed to knock out the shooter and his battle buddy. Those members of 4IB taken out. Really surprised they didn't get that opening engagement. I thought that ambush would have been golden. Molotov's being thrown. I don't know if we have burning enabled, but um, maybe those Molotovs might be able to burn. I'm not sure if Ace actually integrated that in. Yeah. Shepard's here, sitting right next to this, uh, I think that's Leia. No, it's Infidel and someone else sitting nearby. Blue 4 have lost the first engagements horribly. But a red smoke goes down, possibly trying to signify to the mortar. Nim just got taken out by Shepard. Infidel's looking around. I think Frank just took someone out as well. Blue 4 have a pretty nice L-shaped position. Uh, getting engaged by two sides. Well, they will be if X-Ray decide to push out. Stark, they're aiming the mortar towards... Rounds are falling close to that mortar. I don't know if that's the enemy's round or if they're round. They're just ranging this in. I hope that wasn't that round. That was a terrible round. Yeah, it was very oh, short. Oh, no. Okay, is that no, Chopper just... just got hit by a stinger. Oh, I think the other one also got hit. Oh, no, it's Platoon HQ. The engine's running out. They're going to have to do an emergency landing. Antitalk's also spinning down. I don't think they'll make it in time. Who's flying it? As they start slowly spinning. It is mounted. He's a very good pilot, but I don't think even the best Armour 3 pilots could save this. Yes. He's got to find a clearing. Ah, oh, no, he's going to go right into the trees there. Yep. Now he's going, he's going way too up. hard. And unfortunately... Rock. They are dead. Oh, well, actually, no, they're both down. Both have the chance to wake up. So Blue Force actually turned around the Dry Creek bed fight. They're starting to encircle that position as the other force on the hill for Op4 is getting pushed. We do have Delta HQ coming around to the south. They're going to try to snipe the clearing from the rear, but they do have Blue 4 X-Ray right next to them as well. I feel like for Blue 4, the smartest play they can make is to just take these two objectives and hold them. They don't have to go down to the PAV, um, the base camp. Well, you do have Greg and uh, just surpassing an, uh, uh, Red 4 4, so Delta HQ and X Ray barely surpassing each other. But you have this one guy who's trying to sting at the helicopter right now, mm -hmm. standing out in the middle of the open. Is he going to get the shot off? X Ray don't see him. And he just misses the chance. Yeah, so we got that heli suppressing the uh, smoke billows there. Hearing more mortar impacts around. And Blue Force starting to get that southern force down to the riverbed. That northern force is pretty weak, but... A really good uh, tactic, especially with the helicopters, I know the other one's down, is uh, if you see contact, you obviously have those smokes you can just drop out of your helicopter. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what sort of what they're trying to do, as well as provide cash. Jesus. Mortar for Blue 4 firing again. Look at Indigo Fox. He's pushing that position on his own to the south. So they fired that mortar really far. It might actually be perfect. Oh, no. It's going to shoot just to the side of Platoon HQ. It was Willy P. Here comes the second one, which... Oh! Oh! I thought it was going to run right on Platoon That's HQ's head. Nope, it was in the same spot. Yeah. I think they're just hitting that position because it's close to the uh, enemy position, yeah. or they're just uh, completely overranging it. 
So the encirclement around X-Ray got broken up, and now Charlie One have reformed and coming in behind them. Mm -hmm. So one of the X-Ray guys got spotted and caught out by the Delta guys, but he wakes back up in the middle of them. Hold up, look at K. He just soloed going into Charlie on his own. He broke through the blue four line. Who's that? Oh, yeah, he did. Do it. He's pretty much surpassed everyone. Do it. He'll have to wait for him to go. I love it. So Albin just got found and uh, eliminated. No, Albin found a uh, blue four guy in the middle of their line and eliminated him in probably one of the most comedic fashions I've seen in a while. Ooh, Shepard gets a really nice kill there. I think I was on four IPs. Uh, no, I mean uh, on uh, X-ray lead. No, it wasn't. Who was it? It was Rory. Got his ass sprayed down. Got Nemesis firing up at Frank. Why is Marlin in the top right? Why are you? Oh, he's the admin. He's doing admin things. Just got grenaded. Got the helicopter now firing at the mortar position. Mortars uh, went back into the forest, so they might actually be trying to counter battery it. Blue 4 have been, uh, Blue 4 X-Ray have been pretty much wiped by the Delta HQ guys. Pop and green smoke to signify their friendlies. Dad down here. Oh, you got King and Cake gear. They're pushing the remaining Blue 4 guys. King, uh, knocking G-Legs out. While, I've been able to catch hey, dumb list. reject. How are you he doing? Moves to, he is a medic, so I guess he's moving away. to try and This has just been the first round, dumb. Otherwise, it's been a lot of uh, he's gonna get Arma King stuff. Hope you keep doing the operations, man. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you get a nice Ooh. kick out of this scenario. Oh, Greg went back up. Yep. Greg knows where they are. He might be able to get a good flank on cake here. No, Legs is just running in that direction to get away. He's running 30k though, runs straight out into the open. But he might get Kakir here because Kakir's missed a couple of shots. But King saves him at the last second. Greg is still running. He gets hit in the leg, I think, so he took a, t he took a stop to uh, yep. heal. Now you got uh, Alpha HQ heading down to the southern post. They're going to be fighting Papega. And. Funny enough, Scandy actually is getting their butts kicked to the yes. north around the creek bed. Oh, uh, Mountain actually survived the ordeal, and so did Jib. They relinked with Charlie One and were fighting uh, at the objective. Mm. Shepard, I Shepard, I'm fairly certain is on a roll right now. He's got at least three or four kills. Mm. Flash is up in the uh, ridge line here, still covering. So Alpha HQ are now actually making their push into the PAVN base camp. Doesn't seem they actually know about it. And they're all looking the wrong way. It's perfect for this blue for force to come up and take them all from behind. Oh, but Korvac, Korvac's approaching. No. Nope. Chopper got hit by something. The engine's stalling. Ah, uh, they're gonna land in trees. You can land on these trees. Mm -hmm. It's just successfully is the question. Oh. They took a little dive, but hey, they survived, and now they're bailing out. And that's what matters. Oh, sideways coming over. Corvax sees Tolly. Tolly, not where the shots come from. Now these red four guys know they're here. Tolly only has a shotgun, not being supported by any of his friends. But managed to take him out. And now this red four force are uh, panicking a bit. But as the other smaller red four force come up behind him. Rooster and Coda. This uh, alpha blue four unit has now been pincered. It's 
Someone threw an Miller's going to turn around that M60 and waste Rooster. Yeah. yeah. The blue four actually haven't lost anyone, I think. Oh. Yeah, one of them went down. Got annihilated by Delta. Coda being shot at from the rear by his own guys. GL's going out and about. Shine Gamma attempting to fire back. Greg has actually managed to make his way really far back, sort of escape the Delta HQ guys, but now he's next to Charlie One King. So Greg can take out a big, big power player here. <laughs> Where Flash is still there. Ooh, Paul just walked right on top of a blue four guy, took him out. Oof. I've noticed these SKSs aren't one tapping. They're uh, they're actually going like two or three taps. Ooh, Vince is running over. Who was that? He's not going to catch Gamma out. Leia got behind that blue four line, managed to knock Morgan out. I want to see what Koenig does here. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. immediately gets blown away. He got a good few shots in on that smoke. He is down, not dead. Oh, you have um, the blue four guys also using the uh, the little hole things. You yeah. I don't know if they can make them or if they stole one of the uh, the enemies. Entrenching tools mm -hmm. that allows you to do it. Miller just took someone else out with his M60. He is oh, alone alpha. at this point, though. Yeah, this Alpha Force has been mostly wiped. But Shy just killed someone shot. climbing up the ladder. Shy comes over. Legal's looking up. Might catch him out. Ah, KK just got uh, the AR guy. Oof. Or I guess technically the MG gunner for the time. Coda's pushing. Gamma's looking down the rock. Coda might see him. Ooh. And there goes it. Ouch. God, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what was meant by this push to the enemy base. They could have held the two yeah. objectives. Shy getting knocked out by Severe, covering the back line where the mortar is. Great marksman work with the uh, um, SKS. Could still get Nape is tracking K right now from Charlie. Which one's not bad? Who's not bad? They're all the way on the right side. K's trying to head south, but not Bay's right behind him. Oh, God. Like a fucking bloodhound. Uh, I would say it's like, uh, I don't know if you ever played any of the campaign, uh, the SOG campaign, mm -hmm. but uh, you, you'd have trackers on your tail. Yeah. I mean, it's the other way around this time, but. <laughs> uh, that's only Grub behind him, so where's Ju Julie? Oh, Julie's dead. Yep. Oh, uh, rip. So, Shay, uh, Shai wakes back up. G Lake's still harassing the rear. Blue 4 is now going to control Bravo and Charlie. Op 4's force that went to the oh, north has been hit pretty hard. He's healing. Vagrant doesn't see him. And now sees him. And Ouch. Shai was snuck up on. Leia disconnecting. I can only imagine she has a pass and is going off probably to play more, um, more uh, Tarkov. And that's, uh, that is uh, Scandi Recon completely wiped. I'm not seeing a couple of them on the board anymore, so they might have left. Roster-wise... Uh, blue for a huge disadvantage, considering they're all split up. Yeah, but they can regroup. It's all about if this uh, Southern Hill Force can counter what gets thrown up at it, and then Op4 needs to make a counterattack, because by the time... Blue 4 gets both of these counters to start ticking up within 30 points. Uh, considering the margin, I think Blue 4 can camp and then just stall out the victory. So I'm interested in Jib and Mountain just got taken now. out by Norris and Nielsen, though. Both knocked unconscious. So Stark, obviously, they ran out of um, Mortar, so they've pushed up now. Yep. So that's a big name back in the fight. Banks was pushing close to Paul. He now pulls back. And there's Bravo being taken for Blue 4. 
So Blue Four still have a big chance. I can still see mortars firing. Yeah, they're firing up where they think Blue Four is. So where are they? Ooh, they Paul's done the smart thing. He's taken an enemy gun to try to confuse weapon PID. However, that only works if people have memorized the audio. And since this is yeah. the first uh, round of this stuff, I don't think that's going to work as advantageously as he would like. I am surprised we haven't seen as much friendly fire. Um, yeah, right? Great by drop by Paul there. Pick off one guy and then fuck off. That's exactly what you need to do. Or pick him off and hide. So Blue 4 are currently do the good soldiers follow orders. Um, and still with remaining forces around to try and attack the, P the PAVN base camp. Mm -hmm. Good for them. But I think... Oh, right now, Bay is going to have a great opportunity here with his M60. He hears the them all walking forward. around. Here it goes. There goes Cheeto. Albin. Kikir. And he runs. Willie Pete's going off. I think just just killed someone else. His battle buddy goes down. Great grenade throw. Hits Vargren. The ones uh, Bay downed have gone back up, but then they know they're here, but, you know, not Bay wants them to come to him. Grav wakes back up. Grav might be able to catch Vagrant out here. He's not looking the right way. Uh, oh, he gets picked off from his left by kick here. here. Yep. Another grenade oh, wait, goes up. Grenade. Might hit for, I don't know. That's a good air burst there. I don't mm -hmm. think it hits uh, Psyche, but... Bay's uh, reloading right now. He's actually got K behind him. Vagrant and Kikir are shooting at each other. Wow, K being stalked earlier. Now he's going to walk right into Bay. Bay not covering his rear. K's going to get the shot. Knocks him out. The hunted becomes the hunter. Not Bay did pretty well. And there's the double tap. And he gets killed. And then he. He works so hard. Papega leave no witnesses. And he throws a grenade at him. More grenades. I think uh, we've got air bursts. Oh, he's waking oh, back, he's up. back up. Oh, God, look at his feet. He's covered in blood. Ooh. I think Blue Four, surprisingly enough, are actually in a better position here yep. if they don't take casualties, which they just did. Norris taking out, but you have a uh, Hotel 2 guy moving up on him now, Lusod. It's one of the pilots. He's going to walk straight across his head here, but not actually facing him. But Gets the kill on Norris. Very nice. Game. That's the uh, M2 carbine, I believe. So what Blue Four realistically want to do here is just hide. Yep. Get ready for uh, for an attack because they're getting two points. Red Four only getting one. And well, Red Four seem a bit reluctant to actually push their guys yep. off now. Oh, uh, we... What's Spiky shooting at? Spikey was shooting and now is getting shot at by friendlies. I love it. Is Spikey shooting friendlies? Yep, Spikey shooting friendlies. They're uh, shooting at Fawns and Fawns is firing back. <laughs> Get them, Blue Four. They're oh, in the trees, man. Just... Okay, that's one notch from one on the uh, they're in the trees jokes. I don't know if you've had any in your chat. Aim at the stars now coming around. They both miss and realize, wait a minute. You're a friendly. Now GL's coming from a friendly coming in. Oh Badokovic's going to use this distraction either to get behind them or go straight to Charlie and knock it out. Probably going to start shooting at them and think, oh, it's probably friendlies. We just have to friendly wiggle. Yeah, friendly wiggle. Ah, Badokovic also picking up an M16. One of the hotels. Uh, no, I don't think it's Ooh, Badokovic's gonna get right on the rear. Possibly Stark, hit Lusod. Stark just got a kill on someone. Nice. Ooh. One tap to dude. Oh, and then gets taken out himself. No, he's still up. He's still fighting. He's fighting aim at stars. Get some. Probably hurt Spikey. Spikey is just sitting there. Ah, uh, did Stark kill Whiplash? No, he killed the dev. Banned. The poor dev. 
He didn't get, I, I don't know. I actually don't know if he got five kills. No, he didn't. I was watching. No. What a shame. No five kills, no, no alcohol for you. I'll still go up and get it to drink in his honor. Okay, yeah. <laughs> If he All does right. this, I drink. If he doesn't do this, I drink. But in <laughs> so win-win. So what does concern me right now for Blue 4 is Tanaka and Nuflix from Coalition are going to come up and take the clearing. The issue with the clearing is there is little to no cover on it, so actually holding it's going to be nigh impossible. But Spikey and Stars are looking the complete wrong direction and actually have yep. to approach... There's a little bit of shrubbery cover. Spiky and Stars both haven't realized and are also now firing. They're on friendlies still firing on friendlies. Again. They just can't catch a break. Get them, Spiky. They're hostile. And that shooting is going to alert Tanaka. <laughs> Blue Four is going to think there's a much bigger force at Charlie in play now, and it's everything just oh, a confusing God. mess. Well, it was a bit of a lull. Uh, did you see my dish I sent to you? Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, it was very nice. It's the first time I've cooked. Well, I'm starting to cook more. Stark might run into Vagrant, Reaper, and Syak here. If Stark can actually they both pull go around. Kills out here, it'll be huge. That would be a so good turnaround. Op4 do actually have their uh, Platoon HQ Life Sphere and Severe, while being a very good defending commander, I've seen is also an, an exceptional attacking commander. Yeah. Now one, now that he's got Charlie in, a, in, in play, he knows he's got friendly units there, meaning he could use that to his advantage, coming in from the side or, you know, supporting it. Stark has an M16. I've noticed the rifles are not, like, they actually take quite a few shots to knock someone out. Yeah. The submachine guns have been doing a better job at it. There might have been some changes just to make sure it like it's not just fully one shot. Because you remember World War One was just one, uh, World War Two was just one shot. Yeah. I, uh, they might have changed it, but they might not have. Might just be going insane. Wow, the Op Four groups, two AKs and an SKS. They might bypass Stark's position. Oh, he's hiding. He might be able to faintly hear the footsteps going by 50 meters out. Yeah, he is he looking him. up in that direction, yeah. Oh, no, he didn't see him. Oh, did he see him? Yeah, he sees him. Oh, no. Oh, I think he's looking to see if there's anyone else and he yeah. might trail him. Blue Force still engaging each other. Oh, for God's sakes. You had to jinx it. Aim at the stars and Spikey fighting with the, with Lusode, Pierce, and Fawns. I thought Lusode oh, went Lusode by here, though. Fire. Misses his first few shots, I think. <clears throat> he's going to have to displace. And that's exactly what he's doing. I'm not going to be able to take all three of them. Oh, I, I'm actually seeing someone missing from where stars and Spikey were fighting. Oh, no. His stars. His stars gone with the stars. No, he hasn't. I'm just blind. Oh, no. He's, he's just further fighting. south. Flanking. Get him, Spikey. Spikey's not shooting, even shoot. Oh my god. <laughs> the tree saved her. Oh, but here come the Red Four Force attacking from the side. Yeah. Op Force sending even more forces up as well. And the stars now trying to pick off Shepard. See, it's funny. If Blue Four wasn't doing this, they might have actually been able to hold both objectives. <laughs> Yeah. So Stark actually decides to not follow and is moving to attack. He's going to try to knock out Alpha on his own. That's what I'm willing to bet. To I stop the point count up. Alpha. Oh, you mean... Oh, uh, the sector. Uh, the PAVN okay. camp. Oh, yeah. So it seems some of the Charlie guys actually realize that they've lost the point. I think Spikey just got killed. I heard yeah. someone scream. I don't see Spikey yeah. anymore. Yeah, All right. Spikey's dead. Uh... Feel bad for him at the stars, though, because he's looking up trying to avoid something. But then the... Uh... Oh, God. It's going to be Flux right behind him. Oh, there's more friendly fire. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, just fire. No, it's... No, it is friendly fire. It's... Aim at the stars fighting with those other guys. Oh, no. He's going to get taken out from behind. Yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Get him! Look at your maps! Right, because you can use the map to see where friendlies are. Mm. Did you know FNF has an inbuilt system to see where all of your friendlies are on the map? Wow! 
The Dell HQ have pushed up. Yep, they just lost a the guy. They're getting engaged by Charlie 1 for Blue 4. Oh my gosh, freaking Guy Fair, he's just gonna walk up. But he doesn't get the chance to kill him because Hotel 2 gets the shot. The dude, Shepard comes up with the M60 and gets taken out by Flux. Blue 4 deserve to lose this. Oh, wait a second, look at where Stark is. Oh my god. You were right. Stark and in the shadows. He got hit. He's bleeding. He did. Nade goes across. Did that knock out Coda? Yeah, it did. So he's going to bandage in the bush. Yeah, I mean, oh, Kikir just got a one tap on somebody. Yeah, blue four in complete disarray. No command comms. It's a mess. Friendly fire rampant. All started by one person. <laughs> and there goes Bravo being taken. I think this is GG. <clears throat> Op four have the manpower number here. Blue four is in complete disarray. Blue four had a perfect chance. Yeah. Because if they just set up a defensive line against the incoming uh, Op four guys. They would have been able to do so much more, but oh, the friendly hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm being I'm being poked to say, by the way, only team leads show up on the map this time, or whoever holds Whoa. the GPS. So uh, it's just, fire it's just pure friendly fire, baby. Okay, you know, and Lusode yeah. gets walked up on and eliminated by Flux, who had to chase him down. Stark now bypassing sideways. Bravo now being taken. I. It might be impossible now, even if Blue forward to stage or a miraculous capture the two objectives back. No, in FNF, they'll still have. Unless that's you, Infidel, but... Uh, oh, and there goes... That's what I'm being told that? by someone else there that's actually playing, Ongle so... There out by Tanaka, I think it was. Yep. Mm. The three Blue 4 guys oh. remaining on the west are starting to get routed. Yeah. They just lost a guy. Reapers is pushing them. Bruce firing back blindly. This is this is where comms and squad leaders will be absolutely like they're vital in keeping comms up because, mm -hmm. I mean, in normal FNF, you have the map to see where your friendlies are. You can make a rough idea because, but now that everything's shrouded in shrubbery and trees. You don't exactly know who's your enemy and who's your friend. It's yeah. If you don't get a good command chain of command going, if one if the initial one breaks down, oh, oh, oh. that bush just saved him. Oh no! Molotov. Molotov for cocktail. So I think Tanaka just got taken out by two guys, but Bronson just took out the two guys from the rear. Oddball yeah. waking back up. Guy Fieri and Flux right on top of him. Stark still so moving in. This is a four v. One, two, three, four, five, if you count the down guy. And I now I think it's just gone down. Reaper just got another one. knockout yep. as this one guy's being flanked. Poor Bruce. He died. He died next to him. And now they die next to each other. And yep. there goes Bruce. Multiple double together. taps. He's not going to be getting up anytime soon. Two enemies left. Shots ring out. He manages to get to cover. Back. Ooh. There goes Oddball. It's just Stark. With an AK. He sees a target with a PKM. Tries to tap him. Gets the kill. He needs to take that PKM if he can. No, he's he's playing he's playing a Vietnamese style. Yep. He's killing and then just running away. Fast and loose. They're going to capture Bravo soon, so he's not going to have a lot of time, even though he probably won't have any time to do anything. All right, let's see Stark become Viet Cong. Red 4 is VC. <laughs> if you can't beat the Viet Cong, become the Viet Cong. <laughs> Maybe that's what the Americans should have done <laughs> when they went. Fight gorilla with gorilla. Yes. Return to monkey. You see some movement out there at this range. You probably shouldn't risk an engagement. Oh, they find the down guy. No, I think they just friendly fired each other. 
Yeah, they did. I think Nufflix just friendly fired Bronson. Nice. With a dying enemy right next to him. Uh, Bronson's still actually up. His marker's still there. Oh, yeah, no, he's still up, but he got down by him. Stargate is going to run into Bravo and uh, at Ooh. least knock it to neutral. Nufflix didn't even... Oh, well, he didn't realize Zatarius is still up. Well, not up, but down. This will be over in a little under three minutes if all sectors remain under Op4 control. I mean, it just goes to show you how miscoordination and some accidental blue on blue yeah. can stall an entire group's movement and allow your enemy to regroup and push back. Uh, that That's Vietnam for you. Remember when you, uh, you, uh, MCO, it was your first MCO, wasn't it? Vietnam. Yeah. Not using SOG because SOG there wasn't was, around. Was it, there no, was, no, SOG wasn't around yet. Yeah. There was a lot of blue on blue and a lot of friendly I, airstrikes. I need to tell you right now, and I'm going to just gloat to your ego. That was one of the best fucking ups I've ever been to. Because yeah. there was a point in time where I was with my squad in the fucking... Now, I'm not making a joke here. I was in the trees, and we were getting <laughs> fucking surrounded. Every yep. angle, everywhere, they just wouldn't stop. And it was I was terrified, but also having the time of my life. <laughs> Glad the you enjoyed it. Is, the other Send time it. is when I got abandoned uh, by my squad. It was, it was, uh, oh, no, 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 they were all killed. Fire. Sorry. It was a mess, I was one of our survivors. Uh, otherwise, thanks for the 39 myself. month resub. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Hope uh, you play the additional rounds. Sure, there'll be plenty other friendly fire tonight to be honest mitocloundria that's actually a good one <laughs> oh i know you were you were up in the uh top right of the map for a second we saw you up there probably to fix like radios and whatnot Cake here, just one tapped. <laughs> That's it. One he just one tapped Stark as he came up with an SKS. Oh, and there's the mag dump. By elimination. I mean, Blue 4 was in the process of eliminating themselves, let's be honest. Yeah, Blue 4 kind of destroyed themselves. Whew. Systematic takedown of their own. That's a pretty uh, VC flag and a pretty US flag. Wow, look at that. Yeah. That was good. Now we're off neutral sector, so it'll hopefully I can't look All at right. neutral sector anymore, to be perfectly honest.